Hello everyone, in this session we will be providing some information about careers in medicine and what is the career path to become a doctor and what you can do in your post graduation and we will also provide some information about your career, salary and the entrepreneurial opportunities in the field of medicine. Hello everyone, medicine is one of the rarest or in fact the only career opportunity where one gets to deal with human life. To be a doctor, one needs to have all kinds of qualities like time management, discipline, responsiveness, empathy, making it the best career option. Also, it is one of the most respectable fields where one gets name, fame, money and all. These are some of the famous people in the field of medicine from all over the world and uh, we have added few of the names from India also. Next, coming to the education eligibility. From 10th and 12th, you need to be good in physics, chemistry and biology related subjects. In India, there are mainly three examinations to get into various medical colleges. They are NEET, AIMS and ZIPMER. So in this session, we will be learning about the career path in MBBS. Career in homeopathy and Ayurveda will be making a separate videos. And after you pass out of your 12th class, you need to take NEET. Now NEET will be conducted by NTA, National Testing Agency. It has been established as a premier specialist, autonomous and self-sustaining testing organization to conduct different entrance examinations in India. NEET is the only examination for entrance into any medical college in India, whether it is government or private, except colleges related to AIMS and ZIPMER. Directorate General of Health Services will be the head of the counselling services. Now 15% of the seats for a particular college will be All India Quota seats and rest 85% is given to the students of that particular state. Now let us discuss the question paper pattern for the NEET examination. NEET is a single entrance exam of 180 questions and 720 marks that means one question will be carrying 4 marks and there is a negative marking of 1 mark for each incorrect answer. Now the total number of questions is 180 which is divided as physics 45 questions, chemistry 45 questions and biology containing both botany and zoology will have 90 questions. It, the question paper will also be available in regional languages. To be eligible for taking the test, a candidate needs to be a citizen of India. Also, foreign nationals are allowed. Candidates must have passed the higher secondary or 10 plus 2 examination with physics, chemistry, biology with English as an additional subject from CBSE or any other recognized board. Now, open school candidates can also apply for NEET. There is no limit to the number of attempts. But minimum age should be 17 and the maximum is 25. Now after NEET examination, we will go with uh, the details related to AIMS. AIMS is one of the important examinations conducted in India for admission into all the 9 AIMS colleges in India. And AIMS Delhi is one of the top institutes for medical career. Now AIMS Delhi has a total of 100 seats and um, for foreign nationals also 7 seats are reserved. Now recently AIMS Nagpur and AIMS Guntur are also added. The reference link is provided in the description, you can check. After AIMS, we will go with ZIPMER and ZIPMER has 200 seats with 6 seats for NRI. So the Puducherry branch has 150 seats and Karaikal branch has 50 seats. The AIMS pattern is Physics, Chemistry, Biology, General Knowledge and Logical Thinking is there. You can see the ZIPMER exam pattern where you will have Physics, Chemistry, Biology and you will be having English and Comprehension and Logical and Quantitative Reasoning also. Some of the top medical colleges in India are
whichever college one completes MBBS from, it is a standard four and a half year course plus one year of compulsory internship. But what after undergraduation? After MBBS, if you do a post graduation in clinical subjects of non surgical nature like physiology, internal medicine, pharmacology, microbiology, you will be awarded MD degree that is Doctor of Medicine. But if the post graduation is in surgical subjects, then the degree awarded is MS, Master of Surgery. These are the details about post graduation, and you need to write NEET PG exam. And these are the details. Not only MD and MS, there is DNB, that is Diplomat of, of National Board. You can get your degree from DNB, which is considered equivalent to MD and MS. The details about the DNB and its examination are. These are some of the specializations. If you are passionate about your field of study, about your subject of study, then you can do another 3 years of super speciality. You can also write exams like UGC CSIR and apply for interviews for PhD or you can do research in different research institutions. Like any other field, there are highlights and challenges in medicine field as well. So let us look at some of the positives first. A great position in society, high income, personal satisfaction and a career with great scope. And some of the challenges are pretty hectic schedule, more study years and the stress level will be relatively higher. And certainly in our country, development in health sector is need of yours. And thus, this career option is the safest ever in terms of existence at least. We also need more and more doctors ready to serve rural India as well. And thus, the scope is extremely high. Unlike technology or stock, there is no fluctuation in the career. There will be complete stability. And the skills developed are spot thinking, strong self-driven motivation, precision, accuracy, time management, stress management and responsibility. These are some of the entrepreneurial opportunities. On being a doctor, you have many options. These are the following. With this, we end this session. In the next session, we will be learning more about dentistry and veterinary medicine. Thank you. If you like the video, please hit the like button, comment and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe for all our future videos.